Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. It's always my pleasure to bring you the best guests. First, I want to thank Damone, Iowa, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and Portland, Oregon for tuning in. They tell me you guys are new to the Valder BB Show, so thanks for being here. I'm moving on. I'm going to be talking to Dr. Van Doren. He's earned his doctorate in pharmacy, um, a degree from Temple University. So he comes very uh, well qualified to talk about focusing on mental health for 2021. Dr. Van Doren, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, it's been a tough year and the year is not over and it's still tough. I'm not going to tell you about, they say they found a different strain of the virus because we're still dealing with the old strain. That's just too much stress. But with a lot of people social distancing this holiday season and not being able to see friends and family, I think that's taken its toll on us, doctor. What do you what do you say? No, there's absolutely no doubt that this has had a profound effect on our mental health. And not just for the holiday season, but for the entire year, we've been facing and living with a uh, constant sense of fear and loss, all while being denied the normal social uh, support structures that would help us normally cope and recover. Now, this is particularly poignant during the holiday season and going into the new year, but those struggling with mental health are, par are particularly vulnerable. So those of us who are not struggling with mental health, it seems that we are struggling with mental health a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm walking more, I'm exercising more. First, I was eating more, mm -hmm. but I caught myself on that one. But now I'm walking more, I'm exercising more. So how do we get a handle or get ahead of this? Well, I would say first, that's a great start, right? Um, so getting out there, exercising is a great way to improve mental health as well as physical health. And I think that's something that we need to perspective change here. We need to realize as a society that mental health is just as important as physical health. And just like physical health, there are things that we can do to improve and sustain it. It's actually why I'm really excited to be here today to talk about new technology, uh, genetic testing technology that allows us to take a more personalized approach to these solutions. Uh, this is really based on a model we call Mental Health 360. So this shows us that our mental health is a function, not just of our genetics, but also how it interplays with our lifestyle, our experiences, and our environment. Now, traditionally, when it comes to mental health, we've only had access to three of, out of four of these components. Genetic testing unlocks that fourth critical component that provides a more complete picture of mental health and wellness. And I'd like to introduce your, your viewers to two genetic tests that we offer that offer different solutions to this. So the first of these is called Professional PGX Express. Now this is a prescription only test, which means that it has to be ordered by a prescribing clinician because it informs on medication therapy for depression, anxiety, ADHD, and other conditions. It surprises many people to know that the FDA provides genetic-based guidance on how to use or not use many of these medications to avoid serious adverse effects. And so the Genomine Professional PGX Express test offers smarter, personalized prescribing guidance for life. Now again, that is a prescription test. This next test is one that we just launched recently. It's considered a breakthrough in mental health and wellness. This is called the Genomine Mental Health Map. Uh, this is available without a prescription, and it comes with seven different genetic reports that allow us to explore how we are wired, how we are predisposed to interact with our environment, to impact certain behaviors. For example, some people are genetically predisposed towards a heightened stress response, a biological sensitivity to stress. These individuals in their mental health map stress and anxiety report would, would find personalized insights and actions to uh, improve their stress resilience. Other predispositions we look at are habit forming potential, uh, emotional eating, eating behavior, focus, and different aspects of sleep. So the prescription genetic test, that's for doctors and patients to use together, whereas the Genomine Mental Health Map is essentially for everyone. Um, and it really is a new expert starting point for mental health and wellness. 
The non-prescription testing. So how do you do that? Do you uh, go to your pharmacy? Like I see they're now trying to do with the COVID test. Yeah, well, we actually are in several uh, pharmacies in the United States, not in all states, but uh, Albertsons pharmacies. We, we, you can actually go to many Albertsons, uh, the participating Albertsons, uh, and talk to the pharmacist there. Uh, otherwise, you can actually go to our website, uh, genomine.com, where you can find more information about both of these tests, including how to get in contact with uh, uh, prescribing doctors in your area or to pass the information along onto your uh, prescribing doctor if you already have one. That was my question. If you do the self-test, you get this evaluation uh, report back, then you take it to your doctor? Is that is that how yeah, you guys... That- Yes. Yeah, so, envision it? Yep. Yeah, so there's there's two tests. So the, the prescription test for drug therapy, that is actually ordered by the prescribing clinician. So you they actually are the ones to order this. And that's because this deals with drug therapy, right? So it's really important that you actually use this in uh, under the advisement of a, of a clinician. The mental health map is the one that you can take for yourself. And that doesn't diagnose disorders, uh, mental health disorders. It really just provides some insight into our own biology, what can drive our behavior, which then provides amazing insights into what we can do to take control, to take um, ownership of that behavior. Is your company lobbying Washington? I'm going to ask you this because I think I know what the answer is. To get these tests covered, it's great these tests are out there. I had a, I had food allergies, and my my test was like four almost four hundred dollars, and it was it's not just not covered. Well, the the prescription test is oftentimes covered. So most now there would be a copay in many cases, and that's based on the insurance company. Uh, it's usually under four hundred dollars. But if you have an HSA or FSA, that, that can cover that, that difference. Um, for participating states, so it's different in different areas, but Medicaid and Medicare, there'd be a zero dollar out of pocket pay for those patients. For the that, mental, I'm sorry? No, I was gonna say that's good because that adds more stress if we can take the test and then it's not covered. You know, absolutely. So the, the, one of the things we do is we, we want to make it as easy as possible for people to find the treatment they need. And so, um, the idea is, is we don't want people limited in accessing these tools. And that's actually for the mental health map. Now, because that's an over-the-counter, it's direct to consumer, that is not covered by insurance. And the out-of-pocket cost, it would be cash pay, would be, um, it would be under $500. But for those who are struggling and maybe lost their job, because many people have lost their jobs, we offer payment plans so that everyone can get access to these tools. That's very benevolent. Thank you so much for that information. So as the lead scientist at uh, Genomine, this company provides mental health and genetic insights. Where can we find out more information online? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to ment- uh, to uh, genomine.com. That's G-E-N-O-M-I-N-D.com. And as soon as you go to that, that page, you'll see two uh, sides of the landing page that talk about these two tests. Now, one important thing I'd like to add is with the mental health map, as well as the PGX test, the prescription test, we provide further guidance. We just don't give you results and say good luck. We provide continued education for both clinicians as well as individuals who ordered the mental health map so they can learn more about how to use this information to improve. I like that. That's pretty good. That's really good. I want to thank you so much for being here and talking to my audience and giving them an opportunity to know that, uh, Dr. Van Dorn, that there is help out there. And I think that that helps a lot when you know or you can hope. Yep, absolutely. And hope is, is so very important. Uh, and I can tell you firsthand, I've seen the impact this can have on individuals' lives when they see that this isn't just something that's them. This, is some, this isn't the, what makes them weak. This is based on biology. Dr. Van Dorn, this has been a very informative interview. I want to thank you. I want to wish you happy holidays, and thank you for being here to make my audience on the Valder BB Show a little bit happier during the holidays. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.